This week's tutorial is a little bit saucy. It's some saucy Heinz beans. I've got my six inch cake all stacked and ganached. This has just one central support down the middle to hold the layers together. Five inch and six inch cakes, you can sometimes get away with stacking them this tall without a board halfway up. But bigger cakes, such as seven inch, will need one. A thick layer of ganache around the sides should hold it all in, but feel free to add a board if you wish. To see how to ganache a cake, the video is always linked in the description box, as well as all the items I use in the video. Roll out your paste until it's tall enough and will go all the way around, and roll it round your rolling pin. Stand your pin upright and unroll it around the cake, sticking it down as you go. Once you get to where it overlaps, cut through both layers, remove the one from the back and smooth the joints together, rubbing it with your hands. Smooth around the bottom to create your line to cut off the excess. Now give it a good going over with some flexi smoothers to get rid of lumps and bumps. Cut the top level with a scalpel. For the coloured sleeve I'm using Teal Chroma Colour Airbrush. Let it dry a little and then cover the board using the toilet seat method. The full step by step for that is also linked below. It neatens up the bottom edge, uses less paste and is super handy once you've cracked it. With a Dresden tool, score in some wood lines in one direction. With a straight edge, like this metal ruler, score in a deeper line to create separate planks of wood. Then go in with horizontal ones for the ends. To protect the bean tin a little, wrap a piece of greaseproof paper around it and stick it with masking tape. Now spray downwards with brown colouring. An additional step is to spray it with water so the colour seeps down into the grain lines and then dab off the excess water. Finally, go back over the top to recolour the lighter areas. Line the edge of the board and the deep wood lines with black colouring. I'd suggest leaving it to dry before removing the paper, but you know me, always short on time. If you have any pale bits, you can just go in with airbrush paint on a brush to fill them in. For the open lid, you could make it from paste if you have plenty of drying time, but as it's not likely to be eaten anyway, I find these cake cards come in handy with its foil coating. This is a UK cake card, which is foil on one side and cardboard covered in paper on the other. I've cut it to fit the top of the tin. Best thing is, you can bend them too. Just bend one side upwards, leaving the foil underneath so it looks like the shiny tin. If your paper wrinkles, it can easily be removed, and this is only going to hold a bit of paste. Stick it shiny side down with a bit of ganache and let it set. Once dry, dampen the other side so your paste will stick, and lay over some grey sugar paste. Trim off the overhang until you have a neat lid and mark in a circle on the top with a Dresden tool. Roll out a thin strip of grey and line the whole top edge with it. Do the same around the bottom. Using the same colour but with Tylo powder added, cut out a soft rectangle shape and using a small circle cutter, cut out one end and a larger circle cutter on the other. Stick it with water to the open lid 
and fold up some kitchen towel to support it and tuck it underneath so it's in a bent position. Now for the beans. The difficult part is actually remembering not to make them actual bean sized. The tin is bigger so the beans have to be too. Just use some pale orange paste and make some larger than real beans. Make quite a few and then cut some in half so they rest inside the tin flat. You can ignore this step but I place some pale orange inside the opening with texture marks just in case you could see between the beans but I reckon you could skip this and just fill the gaps with sauce. Once your ring pull has hardened, you can paint all your grey bits in silver. I use silver dust mixed with lemon extract. Now for the bit you've been itching to do, get those beans in. The label was just traced onto greaseproof paper with a pencil. You can speed this step up by a few hours if you have an edible printer. If you don't, you'll be joining in with me for some cutting and painting. Place your template onto black paste and trace the letters to leave an imprint. Cut out the outer label with a scalpel, making sure to cut round the extra small label on the bottom left that will be in a different colour. As the label is a little big, we are using the transfer method so we don't stretch it out of shape by trying to lift it. Smear Trex or Crisco onto some greaseproof paper and lay it on top. You can now lift it with ease and apply water to the back. Stick this into place on the front, remove the paper and buff off any excess Trex with kitchen towel. Now cut out that small label that fits in the bottom left out of a green coloured paste. With white dust mixed with water, paint in the lettering. For the outer trim, I'm using Faze Gold Lustre in Regency Gold mixed with lemon extract. The beans I'm using sugar flared gel mixed with a little white dust to make it more opaque. Ignore this though, it just didn't want to play ball over the black paste. You can make it lighter or darker shades just by adding either more gel or more dust but found it didn't work too well over the black. It's at this point you'll wish you had an edible printer and you'll move on to the other lettering before you pull all your hair out. The best bit is the sauce. This is made with piping gel and a few drops of orange airbrush colour. It looks an odd colour in the blue bowl, but it's a transparent orange sauce. To make it a little bit more opaque, add in some white dust and then more orange until you have your desired sauce. Apply it all over the beans and in the gaps with a paintbrush. Next, drip some sauce down the front right of the tin and just let it do its thing. Also add some to the board with some full beans. I also added some to the back. And then went back to the label, adding on more orange gel and the black paint to outline the individual beans. Cut out the name with tappets. I have a full tutorial on the secret to using these which I'll link at the end of this video. You'll be a pro at it in no time. Simply stick them on with water. For the age, I put white paste into a number mould, popped it out and allowed it to set. As with everything else, it's in the description box. Stick it with water or oil icing to the top of the tin. 
Lastly, with black airbrush, line around the label and lid. Of course there was something I failed to capture, but hopefully you've seen me do it enough times to know how to achieve it. And we're done. A saucy tin of beans for young or old. Hope you enjoyed this one. If you did, let me know below in the comments and don't forget to check the description box for all the handy links. Thanks guys, see you next week.